What's up, it's your buddy Mark. Um, I feel like every video I start, I say I'm sorry, but I'm so behind on these GHs, but I'm gonna get caught up. Last week got a little crazy. So um, I just did Friday's reaction late last night, and now I'm doing last Monday's um, right now. And again, I gotta apologize for the window, the glare. I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna switch the room around. But anyway, I was gonna do Monday and Tuesdays as one video, but it wasn't like a lot, lot happened on Monday. But Jesus Christ, there were so many characters in it. Like, I've never wrote so much in like the first, um, first segment, or uh, that's what it's called, right? Like before it goes to commercial. So anyway, we're just gonna dive right into it. There were a lot of people in this episode, boy. Because just the beginning, I'm going to name off like 10 characters practically. Maybe we'll count. All right, starts off. Felix, he's telling Sam to go home. You know, nothing she can do. And then he comes out and then he says um, pretty much the same thing to Liz. That she should go home, get some rest. Now Liz is all concerned. I said in my... In, my reaction yesterday, but from Friday's episode, Liz was way too calm because she's been in love with Jason for years. Um, he's the father of Jake. I don't know. I feel like she's like Drew more ever since. And ever since the real Jason's come back, I know Franco's been in the picture ever since, but it's like she hasn't really shown much love for the real Jason, which is weird. All right, then... So that's already like three characters. <laughs> and then Ava and Nicholas, we haven't seen them. Well, we haven't seen Nicholas much at all, which I don't care. Another recast, too many recasts right now. But um, she runs into, uh, oh, actually, sorry, I'm gonna lie to myself. They're in the elevator together. She's asking about Spencer. Have you guys talked? Cause remember Spencer gave Nicholas an ultimatum. If you leave Ava, I'll forgive you because um, Spencer won't forgive Ava for not testifying uh, against Valentine, and she instead went to the get her face fixed that led to Jason coming home though but anyway she still did wrong so Spencer gave Nicholas an ultimatum and geez he's a millionaire like they never say like how much money so even if I think he gets 10% and Ava gets 90 if they um, get divorced or whatever, but even if that leaves you with one, two million dollars, th that's fine. To have your son back, I don't know. You don't have to. Anyway, anyway, that's just that's just my opinion. But I can understand him not wanting to give up his family, um, legacy and fortune and everything. And then um, I wrote Ava wants fortune because of course, um, Nick's. Um, he, he says him and Spencer are talking and um, maybe working things out and they might not have to even do the divorce but they're, they're doomed why would you ever get married and, with a clause that if either one of you sleep with someone else the divorce is over when you're not sleeping with each other that's like taking a vow to never have sex again like no much there's no amount of money worth that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, it just shows Willow and Michael. They were just coming down from reading the Wiley. You can just see the sparks by them building every day. Willow's adorable. I love I love a sweetheart. I really do. And, um, <laughs> and then you go from Willow to Nell. You go from an angel to devil. Nell and Julian. Who needs a haircut? I don't know when this was filmed. But, yo, he needs something. <laughs> so, I mean, jeez. But anyway, um, uh, Nell and Jules with the Metro, Metro Court. Um, oh, there was Julie needs a haircut. Ava sees um, Nell and uh, Julian, and she wants to talk. Um, she was So Ava's asking kind of politely, so what got you two to get married, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I would go into Charlie's and we would talk about our love for Wiley and we just bonded. Ava just said, save it. What are you blackmailing my brother with? 
It took Ava. Ava just knew right away. She's, she's not that stupid. So, we're already up to a lot of characters. And then Lulu. Um, she's at General Hospital. She sees Ned. And she's asking him questions about the hospital board and Cyrus and blah, blah, blah. And then he's mad at her because of what she posted about ELQ when um, Brooklyn left that shit out and Lulu posted it and then Lulu offers to go off the record and have a real talk as someone who's one's family. Anyway, so uh, Ned does talk to her and then uh, they're talking about Cyrus a lot. A little, and then Valentine, um, he's on the phone. He's not stopping trying to get stuck he's still at it so think of how many characters we've already talked about all right so then um jordan she's on the case basically and then um curtis shows up they're talking which you know, will lead to arguing and then sunny questions brando um and then sam she's she let Brando have it some more, saying, you know, he would never crash his motorcycle. Alright, so let's just do a quick count. We got Felix, Sam, Elizabeth, um, Franco. Oh, yeah, I, I left that part out. Franco shows up right when Elizabeth's saying she can't leave Jason's side, and he got all pissy. He was, so he was, he was in and out real quick, but still, Franco, and then Nicholas. Ava, Nell, Julian, that's nine people. <laughs> Willow and Michael, that's 11. Um, Lulu and Ned, that's 12, 13. Uh, they showed Cyrus. They showed Valentine, that's 14, 15. They showed Jordan and Curtis, that's 16, 17. And then Sonny and Brando, so, so that's 20 characters they had in the first segment that's why I was like there's no way I can do a two part <laughs> alright so then it finally went to commercial alright all right, there was more Franco Franco and Liz they're really acting like that they're really it just seems like they're not getting along she's trying to explain why she's got to stay with Jason and then he's like yeah it's cool I get it but you could tell like he didn't mean it and then Sam, she's yelling at Brando because she already didn't like him because he got with Molly, which he did not take advantage of Molly. That was, anyway, don't want to get off track. But that, that makes me think Brando's young, too. Um, more Ned and Lulu talking about Cyrus. Um, Ned called ELQ saying, we got to have a meeting. we got to uh, back the hospital. And then Valentine on phone, and Nicholas, like, is listening in, and he's like, what are you up to? And Valentine was like, you, my business has got nothing to do with you anymore, and I don't care about your business either. Basically, he's done being a Cassidine. I don't know. I like how Valentine just brushed it off. He's like, T he just didn't even care. He's got his own things going on. But it was only, what, like, five years ago, maybe more, that the Nicholas tried to take over ELQ from Michael. And then more Ava just get into the point of Nell. How'd you blackmail Julian? And then um, Willow and Michael. Um, and then all of a sudden, Willow's mom shows up at the door, who we know is work for Cyrus. And then I went to commercial. Uh, Liz wants to stay. Um, Felix understands, um, Nick, he's, Nicholas, he just, um, I don't know, he was trying to talk to Valentine. Valentine really just blew him off, then Ned tells someone, or, uh, Ned, oh, Ned, I, I can't even remember the hand, I'm sorry, but it's all about Cyrus and him wanting to take over, and, um, Lulu told him that Laura, she's supposedly watching right now, that she got inside information that 
Cyrus made a huge bid slash uh, contribution. They would go to the hospital and they're very tempted to take it. And then Nell, too much going on. <laughs> um, Nell laughs at Julian because she knows, like, how would you let yourself get taken in by that snake? Then Ava kind of threatened Nell. And boy, Nell's such a little snake. Because Ava, you know, she's no one to fuck with either. Um, and Nell says, but Ava, you wouldn't want me to tell Sonny um, what I know about Julian, would you? And like her sweet little voice, she just threw a big threat back. Oh, man. Think about it. You already know Sonny, Jason, Carly hate her. She's blackmailing Julian. She's blackmailing Valentine. They're both killers. When she does eventually get killed, it'll be a great murder mystery. I'm calling that. But uh, I think they're going to keep her around for a while. And I think she could be in, in with Cyrus. I don't know. Alright, so... Where were we? Alright, so... Willow's mom... She... She figured out in a second why they got married because of the custody. Um, you know, people aren't stupid. But then Willow uh, calls her mom out real quick. She was like, we know you're working for Cyrus. Jason pretty much told us. Jordan and Curtis are arguing. Sonny stops Sam from yelling at Brando, which is interesting. Um, Brando is blood for Sonny. Brando, then he's swearing he's innocent. I don't know. He worked on Jason's bike, and he, he, had, he had a conversation with Cyrus, that which we didn't see. It just doesn't look good for him. But I, it has to be blackmail. Brando seems like a good guy, but who knows? Nell didn't seem. She seemed good way back. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> but um a time where she wasn't didn't I didn't see an evil bitch. I remember even thinking she was pretty at one point. That's how good of an actor she is. I don't think she's pretty anymore. Anyway. Ava says, Why don't you just kill now? Like what are you waiting for? <laughs> that's what that's what made me think this would be a great murder mystery. Cause so so many people she's messed with. And people you don't mess with. You know, besides besides Sonny and Jason. Uh, she goes and what within one week she blackmails Julian and Valentine, two other people you shouldn't have messed with. Julian says after custody battle it's over, don't worry, Dava. Jordan and Cordis more arguing. Jordan says she can't tell Curtis everything. And then she said, You'll probably go to Sonny like you did last time because Curtis basically wants Sonny and Jason just to put a bullet in Cyrus. And just end this. Um, I write Michael off. I, but I, I mean Michael. Michael tells Willow's mom. She knows about Cyrus. Said Jason told her a long time ago. Um, Brandon and Sam back to fighting. Sam saying about Brando that. That what I was thinking. That Jason doesn't crash. Something must have happened. All right, so now Ava is commercial. Ava, Julian, Julie saying everything's under control. Willow's um, saying to her mom, why the hell would you work with them? And then, oh, then Willow's mom, she was saying, boy, I could, I said something like, I did like you and Chase together, but I can really see the love between you and Michael. It was just kind of random, so like that, because Willow was in the middle of calling her out, and then Michael. Oh, then Willow's mom tells Willow, "Listen to everything Jason says. He's very smart, and he will protect you." And then, of course, at that second, Michael gets the phone call. Here and Jason was in a motorcycle accident, is in the hospital, and then um, Liz. Liz says something. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, Sonny. Now, all right. After Sam was done with Brando, 
right after she walked away, Sonny then questioned Brando. He was like, hold on, hold on. You know, um, you're not off the hook yet. Because Sonny's smart, obviously. And then Cyrus shows up at GH. This guy, I swear, he teleports. He, he's all over the place. Whenever someone talks about him, he's behind you. He's like, someone if you say his name three times, there he is. And then he walks He walks up behind Lulu and Ned. They're talking about them. There were the guys everywhere. Jordan tells Curtis what Cyrus wants from her. He wants her to go public to reporters and say how she recovered evidence that he was framed and he's not a bad guy, he's a good citizen, to go all the way with it. And then Sam, she's in the room with Jason. The wrong um, Sam, so there's no feeling, no emotion. And then Jason, he got a haircut. There's so many people that are straggly. But it makes sense because he's got like stitches right here. So the sides are shaved very short. I shave my sides as short. But I don't keep it as long up top. I keep it like... I need a haircut right now too. But you can kind of see. The sides are a lot shorter than up top. I never take my hat off on camera usually. But um... Yeah, I, 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 yeah I've been getting the fade for years. I kind of like it on Jason. But I don't I'll keep it. And then um... All right, so now Sonny's talking to Brando. He wants info. Um, Brando says everything was fine with the part. But sometimes asking because something's been wrong with the part. You installed, so everything was fine. Sonny says I want to know everything. Um, you know, anything else happened I should know about. And Brando lied. He never mentioned that Cyrus came in, but. He told Jason Cyrus came in. So, if Jason wakes up, he's going to be caught in a lie. And that's going to make him look very, very guilty. He already looks guilty. Um, Jordan's going to go on TV, said Cyrus, and tell Cyrus is good. Um, Sam's talking to Jason. He's sleeping. And then, um, I, I then Felix shows up again. So Sam, your parole officer's here. What a bitch this parole officer is. But remember, Sam sent Spinelli to get dirt on her, and the parole officer caught caught him. She, uh, the, pro, the PO was having an affair. She's a woman PO. She was having an affair with some dude, and Spinelli was taking pictures, and he got caught. So now this PO is being a real bitch. She doesn't even want, Chase is unconscious. She doesn't even want Sam near him now. So Sam calls Valentine. Because he said he could get her PO switched if she gives him the proxies for um, Scout and Danny. And she, till they're 18, and then they can have him back. So it's like he's not even get. So he's not even taking their stock. Just he can vote for them for now. And they'll still get all the money and everything. So it's actually not that bad bad of a deal but the real sam would never ever do this they do this a lot they ever recast do something out of character that the real person would never do and then liz asks about jason liz right away is like what do you care you don't like jason and then he's like we were friends at one time but he's like yeah but honestly i'm more worried about you um and then he says you know, he wants to be friends again. And Liz, Liz is having trouble being friends with him again. Which is kind of understandable. He, fa he didn't fake his death, but, he, you know, he was gone. Um, then Ava finds Nick with Liz. Are they going to switch out? Um, have Ava and Franco hook up? And Liz and Nicholas? I don't know. I hated Franco and Liz together at first, but it grew on me. It really did. All right, so then Franco shows up, of course. I mean, who saw that coming, obviously. And then Ava's, like, kind of pushing Nick towards Liz. Uh, then Nick, he's texting with Spencer. I couldn't really read what it said. Sorry. Um, and Julian is just more him and Nell. Saying, you know, it's over once this custody's over. 
And then she's saying, ah, we'll see about that. And then Michael and Willow are talking about the custody. And then, of course, Diane texts. The judge has made a decision already. I'm surprised because I threw in Alexis saying how long this judge takes to make decisions. And then Sonny tells Brando, we're not done. Um, I don't think I wrote this part down, but um, at one point, Brando was like, you don't believe me? You think I did this to Jason? And Sonny said, if I thought that, we would not be having this conversation here. So he's suspicious of Brando, but he doesn't think he did it yet. Especially after Brando told that nice story about Smokey the Horse. I remember that for a while. And then, this was very weird. Brando, um, he sees Willow's mom, who we know is working for Cyrus. And they, like, have a look. She just passes them by. They kind of, like, acted like they didn't know each other, but you can tell they do. Um, Brando was in jail. And then... Oh, my hand ran so bad. Uh, and Valentine shows up at GH because Sam called him, asked him to come. He said he can get Sam a new PO that will let her spend all the time with Jason she wants. And Sam agrees. The, I guess I've already said this before. The real Sam would never, ever agree to that. And then it ends. Jordan, she's on live TV with reporters saying that Cyrus was framed, falsely accused, uh, she's on live TV, that he's a good guy, a good member of the community. She went the whole nine routes. And um, she, when she was talking to Cyrus, she's like, how am I gonna explain this to Laura? And Cyrus is like, you'll find a way. I wonder, I wonder how she's gonna explain it to Laura. So that was the end. Um, I'm not gonna do previews, cause this is Mondays. It says Friday. I didn't see yesterday. I have seen Thursday and Wednesday. Hopefully they're not as jam packed and I can put those in one video. And but today's had too many characters to try to put to make two videos to make two episodes in one video. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back. Peace.